There we go. Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Friday. you're having a good uh start to your weekend so far um hello 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 okay cool my stuff is working let's get this open so the plan for today one we're gonna run through a little bit more of some retopoing um hello hello good to see you um we're gonna go through some retopo stuff and then we're gonna talk about uh we are going to talk um, about a little bit of uh, UV mapping here. And then we're also going to go through getting your stuff out of Maya and into Substance Painter. Okay. So, so far we have our head unwrapped here. I'm just going to quickly go through and do my best to unwrap the rest or not unwrap, but retopo the rest of my lovely Chewbacca here. Okay. So I'm going to do this and kind of run through as much of this as possible in a short amount of time here. Okay. So we are going to just run through our retopo process here. I'm going to this fine okay and I am going to go to quad draw and we'll just work through like I said a little bit more of this stuff hopefully my Mesh doesn't collapse on me here. to try to keep this clean through here. Fortunately, with pieces like this, we have to... Uh, Do this all by hand. There's not a lot of uh, mirroring that can be done here. go through this fairly quickly here. Thank you. 
So we're just going through this as quickly as we can here. You can see this process does take a little bit of time though, right? So we'll, we'll keep working through some of this here and then we'll talk about in just a minute because I want to see or show you all that it is possible to get this done, right? I know it seems impossible at first when you start going through it, but be persistent. You'll finish it. Just takes time. Right? Uh, continue editing a poly surface. If you mean like continue editing a quad draw, like if you took a break from it, like let's say you turned off quad draw and you're working around. Let's say you even turned off your, uh, your, um, your high poly um, live surface. What you can do is you just click back on that object in object mode, sorry. Not UV mode, object mode. So you click back on that high poly mesh in object mode. I'm going to hit control one. I'm gonna hit the magnet again to turn it back into a live surface. Um, then I can go back to this. After unisolating, I can click back on my quad draw. I can turn off my other stuff, which I did by creating those layers, right? So now I can be here and I go back to, I'm clicking on the quad draw that I was already drawing, go back to my modeling toolkit and hit quad draw and it's going to reactivate it. So now I'm back doing what I was doing. So it's just a reprocess. It's a process of resetting back up that same, um, high poly live surface. And then once you've got that done, you can keep working on what you were doing. I'm actually going to get rid of some of these here. No problem. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Okay. Some of these pieces can be super tedious and just take a while to get figured out.
yeah sometimes the the hair is very much so a pain in the butt and it is usually one of the hardest parts to retopo um i will show you one tool that might help and we can try it on something here in a second Maya does have an auto retopo feature. It's just not great to use on faces, but on other objects, it's probably not a horrible thing to do, or at least give it a try and see how well it does. Problem is, is it can just not work great, so. It's kind of a per user type of basis. I also don't want you to do auto retopo on the whole thing. Because that defeats the purpose of the assignment a little bit to just hit auto retopo and say, oh, I'm done. So hopefully. darn sorry sorry guys hopefully you got the message that class was online today i apologize if you missed the discord I'll try to keep you updated on there about class we're doing online today just because of the stuff that we're going to go through here with the uv mapping on a face is a little tough um, and then also just so you have some more content to consume for doing your retopology. And then you have the video to watch back as well, which is what I really want for you. Okay, sorry about that again. I feel bad when students drive out there and there's no class, but. Sometimes these can be so aggravating. There we go. trying to make a triangle. Sometimes it's easier to just do this where you tab shift and go to extend and do edge and then you just tab and extrude an edge out. And then you can move Just do what I want you to do. Come on. There we go.
Okay. Very much a jigsaw puzzle type of process here. It's just getting as much as you can laid out as quickly as you can here. It does take a little bit of time. So put your headphones on and just kind of chill out and work through it. That's how I get it done. Usually takes a little bit. No, we haven't started working through UVs yet, but we will here in just a second. So I'm just trying to get through some of this bandolier so you can see kind of my thought process with this a little bit. Sometimes this thing, this can be really finicky. Like you you can see right here where it's like just being a pain and not wanting to connect anything. Another one of those instances where it's some might be easier to just tab and extrude this out and then try to lock these two pieces together here. If you can get it to see if you can get it to cooperate. Again, a lot of the times this uh, quad draw tool is very perspective based and so it just takes a minute. Uh, Retoppling a cape. Hmm. It's very, uh, depends. Depends on what the cape is. Yeah, that's probably what I would do. Quad draw one side and extrude. That's probably that's probably the way to go. 
I think that's probably the play. There's probably a couple different ways you could approach it, but I think that's the easiest and least amount of headache. Hopefully this is helpful to see the process here. And that you guys aren't the only ones where it's taking time to just get pieces completed, right? It's taken me a good chunk of time just to finish up this little section, right? So. perspective based in case you haven't noticed and I also don't know if I'm gonna do the underside of the bandolier I might just stop it here and not worry about capping it off because it's buried everywhere you don't ever see the back side of it so that's kind of my thought process there
Sometimes the extrusion just gets a little funky, so you, you can do a, a mixture between the extrude and the just normal drawing of quads. Okay. Bandolier is taking a little bit, but this is probably the most complicated piece on, or the most uh, involved piece on the whole mesh. So I figured this would take a little bit of time to get through. getting through it though, which is good. A lot of this does get buried a little bit inside of Chewbacca, so like, like I said, I'm not terrified of leaving this bottom part open. this piece up we'll move into um uving the head i won't make you sit here and watch me uv or uh quad draw this whole thing i'll just finish it up off camera but it's good to see how to do different pieces this is a very geometric shape which makes it kind of easier to Although there's a lot of polygons to it. But it does end up making it a little bit less difficult to uh, quad draw on. Then I also wanted to see if we could try to do an automatic unwrap on, or not an automatic unwrap, but a auto retopo on something and see if we can get it to work.
well. Nice. Okay, so that worked pretty good. There. Put this through here. Let's keep moving through. We've got a few more of those bricks to do. They take a while. Um, we're already at like 40 minutes, but it's okay. Let's keep powering through this a little bit. Excuse me, just cleaning up extra quads through here. Um, we do need we do need this one. Got a little hasty there. it a little bit. Persona by music right now. Oh, 
Okay. Cool. A little better. A little less convoluted. I can get away with less quads in between these too. Like keep it to the one in between each one.
go. I'm gonna cut that for now. I'm gonna recut it in here. It's a little cleaner. Perfect. All right. This piece is taking us a while, so I'm gonna just do finish up this last little bit of it here. Sometimes it can be infuriating trying to get it to recognize what you're trying to draw. that slowly coming together here
Got a good chunk of it done here. Okay. Let's, um, we're at an hour and it's taken us an hour to get this, which is okay. But you can see that it is definitely a time consuming process. That's for sure. Let's see if I can. almost half tempted here although I don't know if it will work I don't think these are all perfectly aligned like half tempted to duplicate and flip it around and then just line stuff up okay let's go back out of here Turn some other stuff back on here. So we've got Chewbacca. Let's, what we can do is um, go through some stuff here really quickly too. Did I? Let me check something. Okay, cool. I actually got some other stuff retopoed in um, in our class last week. So what I'm going to try to do here is just export this out. Export selection. Bam. Let's open up.
Happens to me too, everybody. Something happened there that's not working properly. So we'll just open up this one again. And we'll import that uh, bandolier. Okay, so that's fine. That bandolier's right there. It's actually not the end of the world. Um, just annoyed that uh, that other file didn't work. But it's because okay. we still have the teeth, we have the tongue, uh, the eyes. I'm not super worried about. We talked about the eyes last week. Let's try. Let's try something here. Let's do it a re auto topple with the eyes and see what it does. So let's duplicate this or let's just see. Yeah, control D and then we'll turn one off. see what it looks like this is like Christmas music now what are we listening to not like whatever this is This just might crash ZBrush, or not ZBrush, Maya. We'll see what happens. Oh, that went way lower. Or way higher. Mesh. Mesh. No, you don't need to have everything done by tonight. Um, really, in all reality, just having... The, the final project, the re topo, um, the re the uh, paint and everything. Once you have it to a certain point, here's re apologize. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, I will take that. That did a great job, and I don't really care what those eyes look like. As long as I can unwrap them and paint them. Cool by me. That worked. And we'll take it for right now. We'll 
turn off the eyes high. That's great. I wonder how well it does with these. I'm just doing a big sweeping delete out of these teeth a little bit because we don't need them to, we only need them to show like what's in the mouth, right? So I don't really care about all that stuff that's buried inside of his mouth, especially with this is not being reanimated at all. If it were being animated and his lips were going to move around and stuff, then I might be a little bit more worried about it. But Let's try the retopo now and see how it does. It's actually not terrible. like how these ones look better so I'm gonna take this and go here and I don't mind if you guys use this retopo on some of it I'd like you to try to do it from scratch on the face duplicate those
So, like, looking at his face, his teeth are slightly off-center. Like, if you go on the center line here. Which is fine, but... First, I'm going to try to mirror these across the x-axis, so... Takes a second to mirror stuff when it's that high poly. We'll do this, zero, zero, one. Cool. Okay, awesome. Now, those are centered in his face. Now I'm gonna delete these, and now we're gonna take these ones, duplicate these, and retop all these. try this. Hopefully it doesn't crash my It's processing. Let's see. these hmm. what about this percent here. I do 
do want to try to get this done and show you, but... This is not gonna, I don't think it's gonna do it. I think this might just crash. Which is why Retopo's cool, but this is annoying. Ugh. Yep, there goes my Maya. <laughs> Save before you do those things, which I'm glad I did, but we'll reopen Maya here in just a sec. serious damage here. Hopefully this opens up. If not, we're in trouble here. Wow, Maya won't even open now. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I still have a backup file that we can go through some UV stuff totally fine um, is stuck trying to read to apologize. Oh, thank you. It opened. Okay. Cool. Very cool. All right. So, let's let, before we crash this thing again, let's uh let's get into some other stuff here. So, let's talk about unwrapping a face, okay? Unwrapping a face is a little bit different. I'm going to unwrap two different faces here because I have also my other head that I can pull in here. Um, not the same project, but I can pull in a human face too. Chewie's face is a little bit different, but I want to talk about unwrapping this 
um, and then we'll talk about baking too. Okay, so let's open up um, or let's just pull in my stuff from teaching here. Teaching. I should have retopo stuff here. Gotta find it. Uh, no, it's not there. face in here <laughs> that looks so odd okay um okay cool so we have two different faces here that we're going to talk about so chewy's face is a little different right chewy's face we can take a look at the uvs here um if we go to uv editor um, they're going to look pretty garbage right now, right? So we're going to go through here and chop him up and uh, try to make sense of things. So with a face like Chewy's, what I'm looking at is where can I make some cuts here in order to uh, lay his face out flat and not stretch it as much as possible, right? So I'm going to go in here in the edges and I'm going to cut out the eye holes here. I think um, as much as I can just to relieve some of that stretching from happening so I'm gonna cut these out here so I'll go cut and sew cut and then we're gonna go to UV shell we're gonna grab both these eyes and we're gonna move them out of here get them out right and we'll unfold them they're fine right here right now so there's the eye holes I'm not really worried about those and how they get painted quite yet but we will talk about them in a sec okay next piece here is just getting the face kind of unwrapped so i'm going to try to find an edge loop that kind of wraps around the whole face so i've got something here that kind of goes like this down and around the whole face Something like that and I can go cut and sew cut and I'm almost making like a mask out of him a little bit but then I can go UV shell here and go modify unfold okay now I have Chewie's face kind of cut out of here the other thing I can do is cut his mouth out if I really wanted to to try to reduce some of that stretching as well right almost like a Halloween mask in a sense like I could take somewhere where you know I'm not worried about it kind of looping around in a sense right so i can go cut and sew cut 
And I could take this shell out of here. And I can re-unfold his face now. And it's just going to relieve some of that stretching there, right? And I can unfold the mouth piece, okay? piece is done mouth is cut out right face is kind of cut out here then the next thing we can do is try to find a place where we can unwrap a little bit more right like if i really thinking about it right i can cut around this edge loop i kind of built that edge loop in there in the original sculpt right so i can cut him down through here and really not lose a ton so i go cut and sew cut and the shoulders are gonna be a separate piece, right? And I'm okay with that. So now he has kind of this hood and we can just unfold something like this. We could try, try to cut along as much of this as we want, right? And in reality, we could try to cut, you know, I don't know. It's tough with his face kind of because uh, his hair is all kind of attached everywhere. So you could take a look into leaving like this, sewing this back up and then trying to do something. There's a, there's a few different approaches here. So we could sew this back up. I'm just... I'm not loving the idea of this, but we can talk about it. There's not a perfect way every single time, right? You're gonna find that some people unwrap things a little differently. There are some conventions to follow and it's keeping your UV islands nice and clean, making sure stuff's not stretching or compressing, right? But if we sew this stuff back in here and we just cut the shoulders out, And then we do something like this. This could be a potential way to go about doing this, where we cut something like this down to that other. It's just going to look kind of crazy, right? So we cut and sew, cut. Then we take this and unfold this and see how it looks. Which I don't necessarily hate that right there that's not horrible okay it's a little weird right because we're trying to make sure i don't want to have a seam right around his face right here especially when he's got all that fur but where he has that sort of thing down the middle of his head i'm not super worried about it and then down the back of his head i'm not worried about it now we just need to unfold the shoulders. This looks a little crazy, right? But that's actually not bad. And I do not hate it at all, to be honest with you. I kind of think that's not terrible. So let's take his shoulders here and see how we can unfold these. Modify, unfold. They should be fairly simple to get unfolded. And then we can work on getting his whole face in here. I'm trying to get that rotated straight placed in here as well as we can right if we need to we could do something like this to try to get some more space the thing is here and i don't mind it if you do if you have some accessories you could always do a separate uh, tile set like his face and everything here could be one tile set you could have one texture for this it's a little different to how we approach the weapon. But we can have separate tile sets. So if we want to give maximize the space that Chewie's head can take up here and really give him the opportunity to have a quality texture, we can have a texture set for his head and we can have a texture set for um, the rest of it, right? I'm going to put the eyes in here. 
shrink them down. Let's get them to fit in this space. I actually don't even really care where they go. the shoulders the right amount of space too so there's the inside of the mouth this one I'm not as worried about too we can kind of give it as much space as we want here not super worried about that Shoulders is one where it's like, I want to give it as much space as I can here. So it may, may mean like shrinking this whole thing down, trying to decide where this piece goes. So that we can get everything to fit. Maybe we do something like this. I don't know. It's an odd shape. That to me feels pretty good. We can check the stretching and compressing. There's a little bit that's happening right here, um, but I don't know how concerned I am about it quite yet. Uh, that's pretty stretched. Um, if we cut, what happens? a little better okay let's do that that just relieved a bunch of that stretching and compressing so now it's not red at all right which is good we just relieved a good portion of that so now we can take a look at it that's that's respectable that's not stretching or compressing hardly at all now so um I'm actually pretty happy with how that looks. This we could maybe stretch out a little more. Just try to give it as much space as we can. Okay. Make sure these things aren't overlapping. They can just kind of sit over here. Okay. So we have one. We also want to make sure this stuff is not overlapping or running out of space so just checking it's in the zero to one everywhere so things aren't going out of the zero to one grid space so that's pretty good for chewy's face right now okay that's a win and i will take that and now what we can do is assign chewy this object we can assign this object um its own Lambert. So we can say assign new material and we can call this a Lambert, right? And under that Lambert, I'm gonna do this, delete all by type history under him really quick. And under his Lambert 2, I'm gonna call his Lambert 2 a uh, chewy head or something, right? So that's the material for his head. And then when we pull that into Substance Painter, it's gonna give two different materials, right? So we'll say the rest of his stuff can go under something else, okay? Um, we have the retopped eyes, I thought. Let's save this. Oh, 
call this O2. And I'm going to retop these eyes really quick. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck again. Okay, those retop out just fine. Which is good. Um, we can do... The other thing we can do is get the eyes, teeth, um, and tongue in there because if you looked at our UV editor, we still had some good space in here to pack some other things. So we could get the teeth, the eyes, and the tongue in there fairly easily, I think. Um, the question is, can we get the eyes, the teeth, and the tongue to retopo in a timely manner? And that's not something I... I don't know if we can or not, but we're going to try. His teeth are off kilter again, so let's try something here. Kilter. No. Why do they feel off center? Because his tongue's not centered. Okay, let's see. So we got those eyes retoppled and in the right spot. Let's uh, let's do the uh, low poly eyes here and unfold these. So there's the high eyes. Here's the low poly eyes. So let's go here. And we're gonna try to retop all these real quick. So So go to the UV editor here. these that will go back to edge mode sew everything back together right and we can come in here and I just usually cut eyes right in half apologize it has some spiraling geometry so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna keep this one because it was not spiraling I'm 
and we're going to unfold these. Which that's a little odd that they're doing it like that. better sphere in general and just try to line them up with these in general if I can just get them to sit in the same exact spot then we can just use the better topology of this sphere all together better okay so let's take both of these at the same time we'll just chop them right here let's re sew everything back together first then we're going to take them here here we're just going to unfold them. And I'm going to try to keep those together and those together. And I'm going to make these, the back sides, just slightly smaller so I know it's the back. Don't really care. That's actually the front of this one. That's the back, that's the front. Front, back, back, front. Both of these are the fronts, these are the backs. Okay. I'm gonna try to put these next to each other like this backs down here and these can go on the same I'm just making the backs slightly smaller than the fronts just so I can keep track okay then we can grab his face and the eyes now for here and I can take these shells and pack them in Here's the eyes now. The last thing that we need to do for this is get the teeth in. So we just find a space for those eyes. That's probably good. Something like that is perfectly fine. Just pack them in there. Good to go. Okay. The last thing is the teeth and the tongue. And I want to do this because I want to show you guys how to bake and get all these things in here properly, right? Um, so I'm going to save again. Delete all my history. We'll do a file, save as. We'll save that over the top of that one. Okay, so those are retopped. Let's get the teeth retopped. And let's see if we can get it to retop this tongue for us, too. Let's duplicate this. See if it'll retop this tongue. It should. Yep. And I'm cool with how it did that. I'm not super worried about how that gets topoed. 
long as it's in there and then we can try to unfold it. Okay. So we'll do our best to just find an edge, cut that edge and then unfold this thing. So we'll take that one. We could probably even delete this out, to be honest with you, all these faces around here. Because that tongue sits down in the bottom of the mouth, then we can go like this and go, right? Because we can't see that. And we can go UV, UV editor on this tongue right here. We can automatically map this. Then we can go edge, highlight the whole thing, cut and sew, sew. And then UV shell, modify, unfold this. And that is gonna work just fine for the tongue right there, okay? That is gonna be perfectly good. So now we'll come back in here, grab the eyes, the tongue in object mode, right? And then we'll pack the tongue in here. So hopefully you can see this process, how this is going a little bit, right? Tongue can probably go over here by the eyes. Right? Okay. And the last thing we need to do is the teeth. So really want it to just retop these teeth in a good way but we'll see we're gonna do edit delete all by type history and then another save as perfect okay I really want it to retop these teeth for us we'll see what it does mesh retopo there we go. Sweet. Okay, so now I'm going to take faces here. Delete this. I'm going to take these teeth. I'm going to pull them back over. And I'm going to mirror these. Honestly, what I'm going to do here is I, I'm going to UV these first. So let's go here. Let's go to object mode. Let's retop all these. Let's go UV editor. Automatically map these teeth. We'll sew them all back together. And then I'm just going to find the best place to cut them, which is usually on the back side of the tooth. to give them some space to unfold here. These bottom ones won't need it, but. Something happened there. of these this will probably just unfold to be honest with you. be 
go. Cut and sew, sew. Some of these will just unfold, no problem. That tooth will just unfold, same with this one. This one, I'm gonna have to cut the back of it here. Cut there, and we can go. Fold. Unfold this one. Unfold that one. Unfold that one. And there's the teeth, okay? And I do not care how these are laid out, like, at all. Because they're gonna get painted in substance painter regardless so those can just get unwrapped not a big deal and just thrown wherever so uh the reason i just unwrapped half of them at first was because i'm gonna go like this and i'm gonna duplicate them across the x so i'm gonna go mesh mirror positive right 0 0.01 merge threshold there Okay. There's his teeth. Right? Cool. Cool. Okay. These can go back in his mouth. Uh, in a second, actually. Let's get the low of everything here. So we're getting the low of everything here, right? Um, that's good. The teeth here can just get stuffed somewhere where there's space for them. We'll just pull them down in here and rotate them a little bit. I'm not super worried about how those are laid out in there because they're going to get painted in substance, which makes it a lot easier. No big deal. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to pull all these things back over the top of each other. And in reality, I don't really need to do this, but actually, I don't really need to do this. Actually, I do, because the teeth I, I jacked with a little bit, so. So that's fine, we'll just put everything back. export stuff out of here accordingly okay so that's unwrapping chewy's head if you have a head that's closer to this one let's talk about this really quick unwrapping all these other pieces are very similar to unwrapping other pieces on your other model right well, let's say you have a head like this one okay you're doing more of a humanoid head you're going to approach this extremely close to the way that i just approached chewy's face right but first off, we're gonna do a couple things a little differently. Okay. So first things first is we're gonna take, again, we're gonna isolate these eye holes a little bit, okay? So we're gonna go back to the editor here and Again, you can see that I chopped these eye holes out, right? We then, and then we unfold, right? We chop around the ears right here, okay? And I chopped around the back of the ear, and then I unfold, right? Then the, around the neck area, same thing. I left the neck kind of attached to the face a little bit, and you can see that it does cause a little bit of stretching and compressing there. So there's something, there's some places and some areas where you could go, okay, instead, I think what I'd like to do is just cut the neck out, right? And then I'll unfold the neck, you know. Let's see here. 
So we'll cut the neck out. And then we can re-unfold the face and see kind of how that affects the stretching and compressing. See, now that's not nearly stretched as stretched or compressed anymore, right? Still a little red and pink in some areas, but that's okay. Okay. So you can see that I've got some similar pieces here like I have on Chewy's. And you can, you can determine kind of where and how you want to lay those out, right? That's up to you. Just make sure they're laid out in there nicely, right? But you can see a little bit of a difference. We've, we've cut down the back of the head here. So if we turn this off, you can see I cut down, down the back of the head, down through the bottom of the head, and then up, you know, up through part of the mouth. Some, you could even go up a little bit farther if you want. You could come up to the chin or something if you need to, right? I could go there and then I could re -un unfold this and see how that affects the stretching and compressing seeing if that tones it down a little bit, which it did for sure, right? So that's totally your call. There's some things you can do and take a look at and see how that works. A little bit different than Chewy's face. If you wanna see me go through this whole process of unwrapping this dude, I will uh, link you the video that's on my YouTube channel, okay? And you can watch that back. This one, you know, a little bit different process, but I wanna show you one more step here which is getting him exported, the low poly version of this guy exported so that we can um, bake him in Substance Painter, right? And we don't have every piece completed here yet, so I'm gonna exclude a couple pieces here for right now, okay? I'm gonna exclude the bandolier because it's just not done yet. And I'm gonna exclude the base because it's not done yet either, okay? Unless, you know, we could try something over here. Really quick here. Save scene as. We could see if this will retop for us. Let's let's try. Nope, I didn't mean to smooth. That's bad. That's gonna crash. That is gonna 100 percent crash. Good thing I saved didn't crash it might though might have just jacked this whole thing up oh it did smooth wow that's crazy um, I'm gonna delete this and then we're gonna try to retop this mesh retop oh um, we can try to do a target higher target polygon count for it we could do thousand See if it retops this for us. It very well could stop working here, but oh no, it did. It retopped it. Um, it didn't do a great job. I'm pretty sure I can do this way faster if I just do, I, and I will try it really quick. But. If I can get this to cancel. If I can't, I'll close and I'll restart Z or er, restart mine, but.
is definitely being a pain. You can see why it wouldn't probably be a great job to do run the retop on your head. Just might. You know, these are pretty simple pieces of geometry, and it's just struggling. I might just terminate my here. Okay, let's open this back up. Oops. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna even try to retop that anymore. That's just gonna cause problems. Faces here on this object. I want to delete half of Chewy here really quick. Just really trying to make sure I'm finalizing any problems that happens because I'm I'm about to export him out into Substance Painter if I have any issues with him. Um, you know I don't want to uh, have them pop up in Substance, right? So here he is. Let's reopen my UV editor because now that I've done that, I've chopped all of my UVs in half. And he's not perfectly symmetrical, so. We're gonna go through here. And go cut and sew, move and sew. Old. And we're just going to relay his stuff back out. Same thing with this. Cut and sew, move and sew. Modify and fold. And just relay this one back out again really fast. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, then we're just gonna double check all of our UVs on the low. I'm just gonna grab everything. Except for you. So perfect, those all look good. Nothing. That's slightly overlapping, so let's move it up. out of the zero to one nothing's overlapping we're good there this piece did get uh messed up too so let's do this one 
moving so modify on full okay don't want anything stacking right now so that's good all of this looks good I do want to do the base just because I think it makes it look a little nicer. I'm not going to try to retop it though. I'm just going to grab a cylinder and I'm going to take this and control one it. This too. I'm going to go to a top view here. I'm going to bring my cylinder over. I'm going to scale it up. actually going to go to the top view. Scale up this, and scale up this, and this. And I'm, I could even go to the attribute editor and give this poly cylinder some more subdivisions. We could go 40. this to compass the high which it is right now which is really good then I'm gonna pull this down to here and I'm gonna do an extrusion I'm gonna pull it into this edge Again, bring this up until it kind of encompasses that. I'm going to go back here and go modify or mesh display, soften edges. And then I'm going to take Okay, cool. Then we're going to UV that. So we're going to go UV editor. So we're going to come into edge mode here. We're going to sew everything back together. Now I'm going to cut in my own edges here. And the base is going to have its own complete own UV set too. So. on that guy unless you know unless I can fit this in with the uh, with the head I'll, I could try but in reality I'd probably just do it with the bandolier and have the bandolier and the the other piece
So we'll go straight and use on this. Scale this up. I mean, this is the bottom, so I'm not really worried about that getting a ton of EV space. This one I can unfold too. Actually, I think I'll leave that in the ring because it's on top there. Just kind of do this deal. This is the top, so we'll pull this one down here. done okay all right let's export out i wonder if i can yeah i'll probably end up doing the bandolier and the base the separate texture set so let's go sign new material this small it doesn't need a ton of texture detail it's probably going to be one color Let's export all this out now. So the first thing we're gonna do is go here and go mesh combine. And I don't wanna to take too much more of your time because we're almost done with class time, but I do wanna get through this little process next. Um, so we'll go here. Next thing is to take this guy and go file export selection. And we'll call this, um, Chewy low. Okay. And then the next thing to do is take him and just move him out of the way and let's get all this other stuff back centered. We can turn back on the head and all that other good stuff. poly version of him we can take that and combine that we have that one and I'm gonna go file export selection and say chewy high okay
that might take a second to export because it's pretty high poly. Just give it a minute. And then we're gonna upload or open Substance Painter. Okay, so that exported the high. Okay. Now let's open Substance Painter. And we've done Substance Painter before, right? You should be fairly familiar with it at this point. You've painted your weapons in there, right? There's just a little bit different process in setting up this model now, okay? Instead of doing the uh, process where we, 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 we bake all our maps, right? Like we normally would. But instead of having no high poly asset, we just add the high poly asset in. So we're going to do the same thing, a new file type here. We're going to pick our file size. We could go 2K, right? Pick the starter file that you want. I'm going to do the roughness with alpha blend because it gives me a opacity and an emissive channel. Then I'm going to select my low poly here, okay? From the desktop. I'm going to do Chewy low and I'm going to bring him in, okay? And I'm going to hit OK. Perfect. So our UVs are there for him. Um, although it messed up. So let's do this again. Let's go back to Maya. Bring Chewy back to zero. Okay, and let's go file export. Actually, we need to assign him all one material. substance here I reselect the chewy low hit okay this card of changes okay there's all of our UVs that we were looking for great awesome okay um, and now I'm gonna go to my texture set so this is the only different step here right we started with our low like we did with our weapon right and now we need to get into baking our materials. But we're gonna go into um, texture set settings here and we're gonna go down to bake mesh maps and we're gonna pick our texture size 2048. And here we're gonna go and say, we are gonna grab a high definition mesh. So we're gonna click this little piece of paper right here and we're gonna grab Chewy High. Okay, and it's the file's big, but that's okay. So now we're gonna run and bake our selected textures. So let's get height, bent normals, opacity stuff. That's fine. Let's bake all these textures out. Let's see what happens. It should work fairly well. If it doesn't, there's some steps we can go through, but we'll talk about those next week. And then we'll talk about getting into painting and stuff next week too, okay? Which is our last week. So you have one more week to paint and all that good stuff. If you wanna try to get this baking stuff done as soon as you can, okay? Um, if there are some issues with your bake, we can take a look, but you'll see now there's some stuff happening here. We might need to change the frontal distance a little bit. But you can see that did a fairly good job of baking Chewy down, right? There's some things where the teeth are having a bit of an issue. So there's a way to correct this and so that the teeth don't bake onto the mouth like this. That's what's happening is the teeth are trying to bake into the mouth. So it's a similar process to how we did this before. Instead, we're gonna bring these things apart, right? 
we're gonna bring an explode Chewy, right? So we're gonna do an exploded version of him now. So we're gonna go mesh separate. And there's some weird stuff going on with this. And I might just go, I might just completely remove that base and just put this one in because it looks perfectly fine. And I could honestly smooth this once and still have a better base. So I'm not super worried about getting this really high definition base in there. Like, I don't care in reality. I'm more worried about Chewy getting the definition he needs. But we're gonna take the base away here. We're gonna move the eyes out away. We're just gonna kind of blow him up like we did with the uh, weapon, right? So we'll take all the teeth out. Just kind of get everything away from each other. Okay, and it's gonna look strange. But that's okay. Just getting everything away from each other. Okay. Then we're going to do this same thing again. We're going to go mesh, file, export selection. And we're going to call this Chewy Exploded. Okay. We're going to restart this same process. So we're going to go file, new. Alpha blend, that's fine, 2048. Select our Chewy exploded this time, okay? So he looks weird. We're gonna hit okay. Discard these changes, that's fine. And this looks really weird, right? But that's okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bake these maps with this head, okay? We're still gonna grab our high poly. Sure that's a 2048. Okay, and we're gonna hit bake selected textures. It's still gonna bake all that detail onto this because it's going based off of the, the UVs, right? Not the location of the model. Okay. That's good. Looks like it did a good job there tried its best. Uh, the teeth are still baking into the mouth, which I don't quite understand. And it could be because it's trying to bake the tongue and the teeth there still. It could be because the high poly's that way. go back to project configuration hit select and grab the non-exploded version and hit open don't have it unwrap okay should bring all that back in but I don't know if it baked our confused as to why it's still trying to bake the teeth into the mouth there's some processes we could go through a little bit there to try to clean that up could just mean moving around the high poly a little bit but that's the overall baking process doing that cleaned up this quite a bit too there's still some weirdness kind of happening there this doesn't necessarily want to bake well, which is fine. We can do something a little bit different with that piece. We could even just not have it bake, not have a high poly version of that, and that would probably be fine. I really don't care if that base is super high poly for right now. But the rest of Chewbacca seem to bake well. I'm just trying to see why this would not be functioning properly. And 
why it's still trying to bake the teeth into the mouth. It could be that we need to do something like this. export them individually like we say eyes high I think the only one I need to do is the teeth high and then we grab each individual piece should have all the other pieces so this is one way we can try to correct this issue that's going on here we'll just export these teeth out and we can just grab all of the the uh, high poly assets as individual files instead of having them all combined here that might help it from stopping the projection of the teeth and the tongue into the mouth which we don't want to happen we just wanted to bake that detail of the teeth on the teeth, not on the inside of the mouth too, right? These teeth are pretty high poly, so we need to give them a second to export. So as soon as you get that exported, it's the same process as you had for um, painting your weapon too. You can just start getting in there and painting. I have a video of me painting the face of that human that you could watch back to from last semester, um, where we talked about painting the uh, kind of the color zones of the face a little bit. So we can get into that. I can link that video to you guys. These are taking forever to export. Hopefully this thinks through this. may have crashed trying to export these teeth which is really lame let's see it may completely die on me here i hope it doesn't but it very well could
Come on now, please. Open my eye one more time here. Piece of crap. And exporting those should not have been that big of an issue, but it was really struggling. That's fine. Actually, I still have the... No, I don't actually. Shoot. Um... bad with those before okay let's come in here because i believe i have all of the different files i need so let's go bake mesh maps one more time and then i'm gonna let you guys go okay so teeth high i'm gonna grab those then we're gonna go into that folder on the s drive that i had that was under my teaching spring Pretty sure I had um, chewy stuff here. Uh, 
If not, we can just export all of his high poly stuff out of this Maya file. trying to get it to not project that onto the base right so I really need Maya to not crash here yep perfect okay tongue we can export to say tongue high okay, that one exported super fast we can do the eyes Say eyes high. Okay, cool. So that's great. Um, now we can come back in here and go make mesh maps. We can grab the tongue high. We can grab the head high. Grab the, not the head low, just the head high, the eyes high, the teeth high. Eyes high, head high, teeth high. Okay, cool. And then height. Oh, I did the wrong. I did the wrong file. Let's go back here really quick. We'll go new 2048. Let's select the, uh, the exploded one. Okay. Same deal though. Fake mesh maps. We'll grab all these. Tongue high, teeth high. Head high, eyes high. Okay. Height, bent normals, opacity. That's good. Make sure this is a 2048. It's fake selected textures. And let's see if that keeps it from projecting that uh, the teeth and the eyes onto the, the mesh here. It should. It should clean it up a little bit for us. Still doing it. trying to bake stuff on here when there shouldn't be anything there oh is it overlapping shouldn't be doing that and I don't understand why it is when we explode it like when we explode it like this it should stop trying to do that or if I need to move this out of the way too Let's run this one more time.
Let's see. Should not be projecting the teeth anymore. because I exported out the uh, I exported out the mesh from a different file let's do this I'll import why it's doing that to us. to project the teeth into the mouth i'm gonna have to do some digging here um as to why it's trying to project the teeth onto the mouth i'm not sure why it's doing that also not sure why it's trying to apply a material to this base when there just isn't one so we'll we'll I'll do some digging and we'll figure it out. In the meantime, I'm gonna link you a video in the Discord of it working properly from last class. Not sure why he's not working. There's my smart material. Just odd that it's trying to project even in that exploded view when I 
bake him in the exploded view. Like, once we exploded it, it should no longer be doing that. I'll do some digging, okay? Um, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Uh, usually when you do that explosion, it, it works just fine. And it doesn't try to bake or project anything else onto the face anymore. Um, for some reason, it's not working properly. We could pull up this video here. Let's do this. We'll watch Chase back in real time. It's really doing a good job. So see, this was trying to project on the face too. Um, so we exploded it and then it stopped, it stopped projecting it. So yeah. We were doing, it was doing the same thing to us here and then we ended up exploding it. I'll do some digging and if I need to record another video in the meantime, I'll do it. Um, we can talk more about it next class too, but it shouldn't be projecting that stuff on to, um, it shouldn't be projecting that stuff onto the other pieces here. So, um, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna end it here. And I'll, I'll do some digging if I need to do a short recording. I just don't want to, we've already, we're already to almost to the three hour mark. So let's call it here. Okay. Um, as far as getting this stuff done by tonight, like I said, I'm not super worried about the retop being turned in by tonight. I'm more worried about everything getting kind of in all at once. So if you can get the retop done and then you're painting, um, that's really what I'm worried about. So think of all those assignments kind of being all due at the same time as far as that goes um it's more to keep you on pace right um no today's assignment you can kind of turn in whenever you need to okay don't worry about it too much um nobody's gonna get marked late okay so no worries all right we will i'll look some more into this this projection stuff and why it's doing it and then i'll update you all okay um but we'll call it here, okay? I will see you guys all next Friday. Hope you have a good rest of your weekend and I'll talk to you soon. If you need anything, please uh, don't hesitate to ask in the Discord, okay? Talk to you guys soon. Bye.